first, but that would give us, well, one, that would give us tungsten armor and get us close to the medium armature, but we need that for the tanker design that I built. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's going to take 11 years, uh, but um, it, it will complete a couple things at least. So let's go ahead and do that. With the tanker uh, built, I should be able to colonize that oceanic, even if it's kind of out of range right now. That'll get us closer to some other useful techs as well, including, uh, I believe, atmospheric domes. I think we've really got a bad starting location here. Another super earth. Wow, that's two super earths in a short proximity. What if it has something to do with our, our location, galactic core versus the fringes? Don't know. Don't know. Oh, hey, we found some asteroid. We found something at least. Just a dwarf gas giant. Explore and oh, we found a partially damaged computer of Pyroni. Thermonuclear synthesis boosted by 11 points. Which means anything here that takes thermonuclear just got 11 points closer. And none of our really close. That got us a little bit closer to our second engine type, which so far I found to be a waste. Uh, what else does that lead to? And nothing, nothing really close. Hangers, which we've already got hangers. Oh, hangar with repair facilities. Oh, that's useful. But yeah, we're a long ways away from that. So, but it's something. Uh, better than a kick in the teeth. Hopefully, here in El Coprof, we've got to have another habitable planet nearby. There's got to be something. One of these yellow stars has got to be something useful. Nothing useful. There's a hop that takes the radiation resistant, of course. Nothing useful. <laughs> uh, it's starting to be a mantra here. Place else close that I haven't explored. There's one up here. They make up 12% of the main sequence stars, uh, mostly desert and frozen planets, sometimes Earth like planets can be found. Desert. I might just have to crash uh, uh, atmospheric domes, and I'm really not close to that, but I need something to ha uh, inhabit here. It's a wormhole. I might have to just pack up and relocate to another section of space, send a colony ship through a wormhole and hope I find something.
common uh, red dwarves, yeah. All the cold and dark worlds and gas giants, yeah. I don't expect anything on a red, red star. Oh, but some asteroids, we'll take that. A radium, that boosts our stock to 312. That's our uh, ship we doing here. Be 11 months to get a carrier. So we'll have at least a little bit of defenses built here shortly and be starting a, another colony ship. A couple of gas giants, kind of what I expected. Back to fuel. Got nails out there still. Give me an Earth-like. That's probably right at the edge of colonization range. Hey, we found an Earth-like. Hallelujah. So we have a colony ship already being built. I will... Uh, Hold on to that for now. Looks like one computer has Twitch running okay, the other one's just not picking up Twitch at all. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, nothing. Another uh, G class. We might have an expansion direction here. If any luck, we'll have at least another. Hey, there we go. Uh, yep. Found two Earth likes here in rapid succession, so we've started to find stuff. And we also found oh, a working computer of the Arians, 50 physics points. That should help some of these top end things here. Let's take a look at the top of the tech tree. 50 physics would have dubbed uh, half of our subatomic particles completed right there in that bit. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu, what else needs physics up here near the top? 20% uh, of our superconductors completed with that. Useful, useful, useful. Oh, nope. I guess you'll have to go back to the pool now. And there is our carrier. So we've got a colony ship being built now. Hopefully it's got the range to reach one of those Earth-likes. I don't know if it does or not. It's going to be close. In which case, if it not, we'll have to uh, wait for tankers. There's a K class up there. We haven't uh, investigated. There's another G class here we haven't investigated, too. I think we'll have to take a look at that. I thought I investigated all those within three jumps. I guess I missed one. Okay, uh, but, but you're going back to fuel. And we know the humans are down here to the, the, the eastern area, east, southeast kind of area. We just don't know where they are. Okay. That one tunes us the dwarfs, but there is more. Ooh, a huge amount of plutonium. My god, that just tripled our stocks of plutonium. Nice. We don't use all that much plutonium early on, so having that stockpile is, is huge. I don't have to worry about having to dedicate a mine to plutonium anytime soon. Excuse me. Good scouting mission for that one. Let's see what's an Epsilon Pisces Astronomus. Lula Borealis. Another wormhole. Another hot. Aware of uh, K class stars, it looks like, here in this direction. Hey, we found, uh, oh no, that was my planet, you bastard humans. This means war, except I don't have any warships. Damn it. Damn you humans.
I certainly can't build an invasion fleet yet either. <laughs> oh, they beat me to it. And and they also blocked off the route to the other uh, 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 Earth-like. Oh, you bastards. The only thing I can do now is maybe get an open borders treaty with them and pass a colony ship through their territory to that other one. Oh, that's just for research ships. Yeah, that's why they blocked, they killed my scout. <laughs> Demand they give us the star system. If I had a, a, a one or two extra warships, I might actually go for a uh, quick war with it, but I don't have uh, anything. Oh, that looks interesting. There is a... Uh, the Aryans are a twin race of the Perioni, although we know almost nothing about them. For starters, it seemed like they were even more powerful than the Perioni. They also used warp containers, something we know because they seem to have found them... Uh, we seem to have found one of them along with a key. The runic inscription on it goes something like this. For the six seals, hidden force that can overwhelm stellar wanderers, to those who come after us, use it with care. Who are these stellar wanderers? What's hidden inside? Let's try to get at it. It might come in handy. Well, at least we're finding some of the artifacts here. Let's scurry home with that. Yeah, we've got a carrier with no fighters. We've got no troop transports. We have no ground troops. So we can't mount an invasion. Ah, damn humans. Why did you do that? My colony ship was just built to... Oh, uh, no. Now it's just built. Okay. Uh, let's board. There was an oceanic up here. I don't know that we have the range to get to it. Oops. Seven, well, we're not too far away. Seven years away, and the enhanced tungsten's in just a year. So we're not that far away from getting our tankers. Let's start building up a strike fleet. We're going to go steal that planet from the humans, I think. Unless we can find something else really quick. Because we have no, no place to expand at the moment. I could probably move a colony ship through their space, because they're not going to have any defenses themselves yet. Desert. Oh, that, that's actually a nice desert planet. Another one with uh, uh, research opportunities. Unfortunately, you can't do anything with deserts. I probably should get some fighters on this uh, carrier as well. We 
can take a quick look at the charts here and see what they have. So yeah, obviously we both have two colonized planets right now. Uh, population obviously still pretty close. I have a I have a fleet advantage on him, uh, but two of mine are scouts and I only have one warship. Hit, I presume two of his are scouts. Wait, why do I have four ships? I only have oh the colony ship counts. So he's he's essentially got just his two scouts. I just unfortunately even my uh, There. In fact, I probably don't have enough to get. Yeah, I don't have enough to get to within one jump of him. Uh, I need the tankers, and I need obviously to build up a better fleet as well. We are going to have war with the humans, though. I think they stole my planet. That was mine. I had laid claim to it. I had marked my territory. Okay, you can unload that. So we now have two separate artifacts orbiting our planet. The wormhole. Frozen, of course, nothing useful. Nothing useful and a dead end at that. I'm I really seriously thinking about when I built my tanker which one was it? I forget down here when I build my tanker which would be it takes 7 to 10 years to build itself but to build the tanker and move a colony ship down here through their territory while they don't have any defenses and um taking that other Earth-like. Because I have no place else to go. Hey, hello, Kitty. Oh, good to hear. And she has a bigger bed. Oh, nice. Good to hear she's doing better. for that. Uh, yeah, where's the setting here? Gotta go all the way back to the menu for settings. That's not good. That's a poor design. <laughs> And it doesn't close cleanly either, <laughs> evidently. Uh, I probably can in XSplit. I'm using the, the newest version of XSplit, so um, I haven't gotten quite everything set up the way I uh, want to. Give me a minute here. It evidently did not close cleanly and it won't restart now. Change settings. There we go. I'm sure I probably can do it in X split. Um, actually, I probably shouldn't even restart this. Uh, you get up for some uh, Factorio? Or 
need to wait a little bit. Damn humans, I'm gonna continue to curse those humans until I kick them off of my planet. That's better? Okay, good. <laughs> Said I just downloaded the new version of XSplit and uh, it did, it was a new, uh, went from a 1.3 to like a 2.3, so 2.0's been out for a while. Okay. Sounds good. That'll allow me to maybe make it a little bit further in this uh, new playthrough. That's fine with me. Okay, where else can I go with you? Probably no place useful because I don't see any of the proper stellar class stars. That's the colonizer, was my uh, scout. You can hear me now. Well, that's good. I wonder if that's what somebody tried to tell me a while ago. Well, that's uh, interesting. The, the Twitch video is not coming through on, uh, on my screen, but the chat's coming through just fine, which is good. Okay, um, ba -ba -ba -ba. let's go up there and explore, you're coming, you're coming back to fuel or something, you've refueled, not enough fuel, not enough fuel, not enough fuel, just about hit the, oh, you can get out to that one. Yeah, it's just Twitch has been buggy on my end, the video. On, on the laptop, the video is just in a perpetual load cycle. On the desktop, it keeps going in and out of a load cycle, but I wasn't sure if the chat was coming through. The chat's coming coming through just fine, and that's all I'm really worried about. I don't need the Twitch video. I was just worried I wasn't getting any chat, or I was missing chat. gas giants. <laughs> uh, fleet construction complete. Okay, what did we just do? We built a Corvette, I think. Yes, so we now have a Corvette and a carrier. How close are we to being able to build those tankers? Uh, seven months away. It looks like we completed uh, something as well. Whatever was in front of the, uh, the, the not the turrets, although we're going to go ahead and complete those as well. Automation, automation. So we've got a couple um, quick researches coming through. Yeah, so far the the new uh, uh, new um, X split seems to be pretty solid. I haven't had any issues with it. It just it didn't conf it didn't copy my settings over. It was a complete new install. Um, so I, I I'm still tweaking my settings a little bit. Frozen planetoid, of course. There's no oceanic or earth likes. Okay, there's our gravity resonance tank. Hopefully, now that will give us access to our tankers, and we're going to crash research the medium arm turret while we're at it. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, I'll be here. Okay, does that give us access to our tankers? It's a freighter class. Oh, it does not. Hmm. I don't know what I still need for the tankers that I've already designed. Uh, one thing about this, for those that are, aren't aware, your ship designs from other playthroughs are carried through. And now, you know what, because it's a different race, I might have to just design a new one because the, the whole ship design is going to be different layout. So this will be my star tanker. And for those new to this, I'll go through the ship design real quick. Uh, you've got three deck, or well, you've got multiple, potentially you've got multiple decks. Not all ships have more than one deck. Uh, this particular hull of ship is based on the hull. So this is the freighter hull. It's got three decks. Uh, deck two, deck one, top deck. Uh, 
within the decks, you've got these these areas with these patterns, the squares. Those are where you can place items. So the top deck has three yellow colored icons. Those are for weapon mounts. All yellow slots, uh, all weapons require a yellow slot. Now, that does not mean that you cannot put, for instance, um, where's my generator? Uh, that's too big. Uh, that's a 6x6 six six and these are only 4x4. Four four. I don't think there's anything I can put on those slots other than weapons and because it's a tanker I'm not going to put any weapons. If we take a look at deck 2, it's got a lot of open space. These gray areas are pretty much good for anything that don't require a special color. The purple are engine slots. Uh, or, or engines require a purple slot so you generally kind of hold those for engines and once you have enough engines and any leftover spots you might use for something else. So we're at speed of six. Let's hold on to that for now. Uh, you can see we have a power balance of a minus 7200. Each of these generate uh, each of these engines I mean have a power consumption of 2400. So that's where that power balance of minus is. I need to put some reactors in in order to balance out those uh, engine use and I'm just going to click and drag the cursor down until I get a fair number of generators. I'm going to put a surplus in for a reason and I'll show that in a minute. So we have a balance of 16,000. Now I can come over here to the tanker and go to the... You've got two t fuel tanks now. We just researched the gravity residence tank which is a 4x6 area versus the standard fuel tank, which is a 5x5. Five five. Now, the standard fuel tanks have a capacity of 1,000 and a weight of 7,000. These have a capacity of 1,000 and a weight of 6,000. So they weigh less, they have the same capacity. The drawback is they consume a little bit more power. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and, because this is going to be a tanker, I'm going to fill a good section of this up with fuel tanks. much fuel oops, as I can get on these things to give it enough range plus the ability to transfer fuel to others. Now before I go too much further, I'm going to go down to the bottom deck and add a module called the uh, refueling module which allows it to actually refuel other ships. You can see we have a power balance of the negative again. So let's add some more generators. We'll put them on this deck. Gives us a little bit of a balance, but I want more because I'm going to add more fuel to it. And then we'll go back to the middle deck and add some more fuel modules. I might add a stellar energy converter. It takes an awful lot of power, uh, but it allows it to, to, to refuel off of the stars as well. So if it runs out of fuel, you can slowly just gather fuel from the stellar matter of orbiting the stars that you're orbiting. Okay, that gives us a range of 21,000. I want at least a 30,000 range. Let's go 32,000. Okay, that's 32,000 range. Now the speed is down to one. That's not obviously not good enough. So let's get the speed up to at least a. Th I prefer a three. At least. Okay, we're short on power a little bit, so let's add. Okay, now each one of these is going to take nine years nine and a quarter years to build but they've got a range of 3200 they've got a speed of 3.06 I'm gonna boost that speed just a little bit more uh, balance this a little bit let's get it to a speed of 3.8 we obviously need another generator two generators okay speed of 
range of 32,000. Uh, that'll be enough to get us into the rain, the areas that we're looking at getting our colony ships into. It takes nine and a half years to build. We can refuel other ships. Um, the only other thing I would consider doing is putting a stellar converter in, but I would have to add way too many generators. Uh, I, uh, 50,000, 48,000, I'd have to add 16 generators to fit that in, and I think that would just slow me down way too much. So we're going to stick with this design. We can modify it later. We'll get better tech at some point and be able to um, um, improve that design. So in nine years, we will have a tanker and be able to at least move a colony ship up to the one oceanic that we have access to. And if the humans don't have their planet blockaded, we'll also uh, move a colony ship down to that southern um, uh, Earth-like. We'll go through their tor territory and uh, grab that other Earth-like that we have, uh, that we found if we can beat the humans to that one. Um, that did complete research. Oh yeah, we're doing the medium armed next, which will improve our combat ships somewhat, or once we redesign them anyway, we'll improve our combat ships. So in uh, 93, the year 2102 or thereabouts, we'll have our first tanker. I don't think we can get anywhere else, so let's go back to refuel. And we do have a small combat fleet as well. Uh, if I had some some ground units and whatnot, I would uh, go ahead and maybe build a troop transport and look at launching an invasion against Earth, that new Earth planet, but we're not quite there yet. In the meantime, our balanced uh, Earth-like that we did has the metal mine, has a single factory, a single farm and is building a research lab now to improve our research. Okay, we found nothing again. Surprise, surprise. We really, really had a, a rough start in this one as far as um, location. I'm looking to see if I've missed anything close by. Lambda is the next nearest one that we haven't explored, and that's just a K-class. We might get lucky and find an Earth-like, but I wouldn't hold my breath. Um, that's through the human territory. There's one K-class over here. We haven't found a way to Cygrus yet, which is the next closest G-Class that I see. Yeah, really, really rough start here. Uh, we'll have to take a look after this next research is done and see where uh, atmospheric domes fall on the uh, tech tree. We might just have to crash research those just to be able to expand to some desert and ice planets, which will improve, extend our range essentially. That's the main thing about them, is extending our range uh, to scout further. I could send a scout through a wormhole, but uh, I don't think I'm going to yet. Okay, both ships are just about back and refueled. Uh, sure, let's go t check out Omega Cruise. <coughs> You will go check out uh, whatever. Oh, you will go check out. No, nope, you won't check that out. It's out of range. It's out of range. That's out of range. That's out of range. Everything in that direction is now out of range, and I'm pretty sure everything in this direction is out of range, except for maybe Lambda Taurus. Nope, that's out of range too. I have no place left to scout in the north. It looks like until I can put another company down somewhere. Uh, yeah, I think, I think my scouting is done. 
except for a little bit here in the southwest. Okay, medium armed turret is done. Uh, range of weapons is increased by uh, 3%. That's all that that does. Uh, some weapons require at least a medium arm turret as well. Where are, okay, now we have marine farms, which, oh, there's the atmosphere film. It takes complex design. Right now it's 161 years. If we prioritize that, it now becomes 18 years. And I really think I have to do that because I need, I need space to expand to, and that's the only way I'm going to be able to do it. So we will set that on course not what I would prefer to do at this stage, but I don't have a lot of choice. Uh, next up, we got still five years for our tanker. That will help out a little bit. Okay, let me uh, get to the end of uh, this year here, and I will save this, and I'll need about five minutes. We uh, got back a bit quicker than expected. I still have eight minutes, but I need to make myself a sandwich real quick, too. So at the end of the year, which we've just reached, okay, that will be the end of this. Um, uh, Keithy and I will be uh, continuing our factorial build here uh, in about five minutes. Uh, game. Uh, uh, factorial build that we've started up uh, two weeks ago and we will be continuing uh, that. This has been uh, Polaris Sector, um, a, a new start uh, campaign and a uh, bit of a rough start but unlike the last campaign we have contact with another race albeit uh, not exactly friendly, at least I don't consider it friendly. They stole a planet right up from under my colonizer um, so uh, we will be making war on the humans, I think. Let's take a quick look and see. Uh, we've got uh, nothing changed there. Our colonized planets are the same. Population's roughly the same. I still, he still has, he's got one more ship. So he either has another colonizer out or he has his first warship. We do have two warships right now, although our carrier has no fighters yet. We've got a slight advantage in science at the moment. Uh, slight advantage in production and mining and our development uh, index is slightly higher so we've got a slight advantage here um, on them but it's it's very very slim at this point uh, once I get the tanker my fleet actually will have range to make an attack on them but I still don't have the tools to really launch an invasion uh, once that tanker is done I think what I'm gonna do is queue up a troop transport I have no idea how many things... Okay, that tells me how many they can uh, transport. Uh, I'm going to keep it simple. I think one Marine Battalion, one or two Marine Battalions is probably going to be enough to take them out. Um, so I'm going to build one troop transport and 1,500 Marines. And that will be our invasion of... Um, the planet they, they stole from underneath us, Xi Pisces Ospirinus. And if we can manage that and then grab uh, the Earth like at Eta Pisces Astronus, then we'll be in good position to pretty much wipe that out. Now, we have not found their home planet, but we know they're down here in this area here somewhere. Uh, but if we manage to take those two uh, those two planets, that'll give us a platform to uh, launch off, find their homeworld, and destroy them. And then we can go back to being peaceful cats again. But that will be the end of this session. Uh, here in five or ten minutes, uh, stay tuned uh, uh, for our factorial playthrough, our Anglo-American uh, factorial. And uh, we will see you then. Thanks for joining.